couple of weeks back, I was driving home around 10pm and pulled up to a set of lights a few blocks from my place. I have a four wheel drive and had the passenger seats down with my surfboard lying on it so my partner was sitting behind my seat in the back. My partner said to me that the driver of the car to my left was trying to get my attention. So I put down the passenger window and a guy said to me, your phone is on your roof. I was very confused because I knew my phone had been dead for about three hours and was sitting in my handbag next to me. The guy said again, your phone, it's on the roof. You should pull over up here and get it off. I asked my partner where his phone was and he held it up so I could see it in the rear vision mirror. I looked at the guy again and he said, pull over up there and get your phone off the roof. So I then put down the window behind the passenger seat in the back and my partner leaned across and goes, hey mate, what's up? The guy was clearly taken aback as he thought I was alone until this point. He quickly turned left and sped off. I was pretty freaked out at this so we drove around for a little while just to make sure no one was following us. When we got home, we looked on the roof and of course, no phone was there. Nothing was. I'm not sure what exactly the guy's intentions were, but thankfully, he didn't succeed. I work part-time at a grocery store and I usually work the closing shift. About 30 minutes to close it, a lady comes to my register. She's polite, friendly, and seemed very normal. She pays for her groceries. I hand her her receipt, and she leaves. Seemed normal to me. About 10 minutes after we close, I'm headed out to my bike, but she stopped me before I could leave the store, claiming that she had left a phone inside, and that she needed to get it. She hadn't left a phone. It would have been at my register and I thoroughly cleaned it, as well as its surrounding area before I clocked out. But I offered to go in and check anyway, because maybe it had been dropped on the floor. I wanted to go home, and luckily my manager offered to call her phone. So I headed to my bike to get going. The moment I take the lock off my bike, she drives over to me, making small talk. It's a bit weird, seeing as I'm clearly trying to get home, and she doesn't know me at all. She tells me that I have a cool bike, asking where I got it. I explain to her that it's electric and that I just got it from Amazon. She tells me that she didn't know that they made electric bikes, but then tells me a few minutes later about how she's been looking to get an electric bike for a while now. She asked to take a picture of my bike and then suddenly asked me why I was still wearing a mask, going on about how it could give me sinus problems. I decide not to take it off since she's taking a photo, which I notice the camera is aimed more so at me than my bike, even though I stepped away so she could get a better view of the bike by itself. Unknown to me, my manager and another worker were watching the whole interaction, and after this woman left, went over to me and asked if I was okay. I didn't really think much of it, telling them that it was fine and that all she wanted was to know about my bike. I headed home, but on my way, thought a little bit more about the interaction. She came back to the store claiming to have lost her phone but had it on her the whole time because she took a picture with it. She kept repeating my name in our conversation as often as she could, almost like she was trying to memorize it. She took a photo of me as well as my mode of transportation, all while trying to get me to take my mask off right before taking it, as if to be able to see my entire face, which was sort of creepy. Even weirder was when I turned back to the store to see if she was still there, I saw a police car, which, after leaving the parking lot, turned on its sirens and sped off in the direction that the lady left it. Maybe I'm overthinking, but this interaction just seemed really, really strange. <laughs> 